I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get well, this sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. Hey. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, Get this is bad. Me. This is bad. Spend the night here. Come on. I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky your family. <sighs> you want to talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're going to lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You and Tessa and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. Okay. <laughs> that that uh that did something. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed. And plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law, then. Right. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? Yeah, mandatory reporting is a bitch, exactly. That happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment yeah, worker had it been does. assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? Always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. <laughs> Too but late! Adults, and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's going to take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But 
We've got a place here whenever you need it. Why am I crying? <laughs> Seriously, why am I crying? Why am I teary-eyed? What the hell? <laughs> Group hug? Yeah! <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try, Odie. I'm glad that's over. That was nerve-wracking as fuck. A proper emotion-driven story can elicit that response and this one hits home. Yeah. Hey, you know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Allison. What? Feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. <laughs> Pulled pork sandwich and a beer sounds good. <laughs> yeah, neither of those sound good to me. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> BBQ beef brisket and a ginger beer? You know what? I could go for that. And and here I am. I'm crying again. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm a, an emotional bean. Tess is going to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On. Sorry, I want to eavesdrop on this conversation. signatures it should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move well why don't we schedule a meeting with the alaska wildlife foundation try to get their support look harold i have to go we can pick this up at the meeting i should be on my way over soon hello tyler can i help you hey 
I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? I can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm yeah, sorry bug. if you felt... Bug, get out of here. Resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did. Yeah. But it was bug. a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? He said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. So, kids, yeah, was bug. There, uh, <laughs> anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mom, not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. I, why do I feel like he's lying? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. I feel like he's hiding something. Could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. <laughs> Hi, because Sherry! Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. <laughs> Alright, so I talked to my sister. Yeah, so the guy I'm, I'm controlling right now, his name is Tyler. He's actually um, trans male, and he, that's his sister, Allison. They're twins, so they can like mentally, like telepathically communicate. 
It's been good. Got to get back in the swing of everything, so it takes me a little longer to get stuff done. Understandable. Understandable. Wait, that's not the storeroom, is it? That's the office. Where's the storeroom? Ah, storeroom is over here. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's okay. not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? These are just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Okay. Back of the room. Okay, that's canned ham. Uh, no, that's not it. Did you note know his jacket has a phoenix on it? Kind of symbolic, but I just not... See, I couldn't tell what that was. Is, is it a I phoenix? I didn't ha hadn't realized it. You're, you're probably right, though. Okay, that looks like paint. Ah, here we go. Hold on. Let me count this. Uh, 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Okay. On it. Bottles of bleach, huh? That should be easy to ID. Yeah, see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Alright. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. No, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? <laughs> uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this. And this is what I get? Cold, Tyler. <laughs> Ice cold. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker. <laughs> I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, I'm off my game today. All right. Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. Plushies in a box. Uh... Ah. So... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, t wait, six, nine, eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Oh, these Did people are sassy on this game. Yeah, they are. Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just 
Too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh, right in the face. Oh, God. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Oh, right yeah. in the face. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing hey, here. You know I only need one more hit to win, right? Yeah, yeah. Less talking, more tossing. Oh, come on. Is that all you've got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Come on. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still <laughs> destroying you. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. All right, come on, pop out, you bastard. Damn, overshot it. <laughs> Yo, we better wrap this up soon. Damn, overshot it. Not to doubt the golden arm. Well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. This is probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? That's the name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah. Alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Alright. I'm gonna look around. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. Yep. I see it. Is that the mangy muskrat? Okay, let's look at the collectibles here. We're missing one. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzer hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Okay, can I sit? Seriously, can I sit? Can I sit in the chair? 
There we go. Yeah. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. So what's your take on him? He's a pretty alright guy, all things considered. All things considered? Like, with him being a cop and all. I mean, it, it's good to see someone from the clan getting shit done. And he really cares about the community. We need someone like him on top. And... I'm done. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet. Hey, Twiggy! Really incompetent. But it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. Hey, Twiggy! <laughs> I'm doing all right. Yeah, you know, every time I put a lakey, flash, but we events, she otherwise all right. Covers them. Jesus, that's fucked. Oh, Jesus has nothing to do with that. Trust me. Being religious doesn't mean you got to weaponize <laughs> you, your religion against other people. That's a choice. Yeah, I hear you. So, is he a cool boss? Uh, cool. I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used Just to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few Took a nap earlier today. Chances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that, though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. Oops. So is he Dang a it. cool boss? Dang I gotta it. tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that What's so? this game about? The Allison said she Hang on. <laughs> well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So... Why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed. Your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah. Uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. But you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. <laughs> Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. <laughs> so I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. Ah, I yes. Thank you for that shout out, yeah. Sherry. I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. <laughs> you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. You pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Is he hitting on us? <laughs> Honestly, His man bundle? Yeah. I know, right? You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Sure, we'll say he's swell too. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. For sure. I mean, I ship it. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum dums to come back. <laughs> Hi, Allison. You guys ready to go? <laughs> I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. 
Let's go. <laughs> I ship it. 